Let me tell you, if you're an adventurous couple that wants some upgraded features in a camper that's about 27 feet long, roughly 5,300 pounds dry, but you want all the space and amenities that a top-end RV can provide in a mid-level price range, check out the Forest River Alpha Wolf 22 SWL. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young hanging out inside the brand new 2021 Forest River Alpha Wolf 22SW-L. And you know what? Tip of the hat to the folks at Cherokee. For about 20 years, uh, they have really been changing up the game a little bit. They are such a good think tank when it comes to RVs and changing floor plans, updating designs. And this 22SWL, which is technically a rear bath couples model, really kind of fits that mold. Plus, Forest River with their manufacturing likes to reduce and reuse, kind of shrinking that carbon footprint. And I'm gonna start back here in the rear of this rear bath couples coach. Now you're gonna see, I don't even have the light on in here except for over the sink because the skylight inside this residential style shower with the single surround here, look at the skylight. Now I did hit my head right here but with the skylight in the middle, plenty of headroom. I'm not cramped left or right. And check out the cool cloth style, almost indestructible shower door that you have there. Retractable, gives you plenty of space, lots of light. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush right here, angled beside the shower. Good storage space here as well. That's the one thing I noticed about this 22SW. Uh, I'm gonna call it the sweet dubs. They did a good job with the storage. You had two pantries inside this RV. Large single basin sink with the oversized sink right there. 110 GFCI, GFCI outlet. Large mirrored medicine cabinet here as well with the raised lip. I mean, just kind of more space than I'm used to seeing in a coach this size. Now granted, it is 27 feet long. Uh, it is 5,800 pounds dry. I got the barn style door leading me into the bathroom, really matching this updated Brighton decor that they did for 2021. You'll see over here on the campsite, I got my entertainment center, power, cable, dual USB charging, paw TV mount. I love this because it makes your TV versatile. You don't have to have a TV for the bedroom, TV for the outside, TV for the entertainment area. Put this on the back of your TV, boom. You can just mount your TV wherever you want to go. Rustic style beveled edge here on my component shelf. Storage compartment. I got my AM FM command center here by Driven, which has dual zone. It's USB, plus you can control it from an app, HDMI. You got the fireplace right there with the backlit kicking off about 5,000 BTUs of heat. Multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. Got myself a little mud room spot right here. I don't, I guess I could put my shoes in there. Yeah, I could probably get both in there. Break an ankle getting out. Nothing wrong with that. Slip resistant, easy to clean flooring. Where's my subwoofer? Check it out. You got an eight inch, 200 watt driven subwoofer in there. That pumps out the sound. Add that to the backlit speakers that we have here that are mounted. If you like to entertain, you're an adventurous couple, you wanna come back and you wanna blast your Christopher Cross and you wanna go sailing, takes me away, this is gonna blow it out. I love it, plus it's got that blue light. Forest River loves that blue light. Look at it behind my slide right here. Five foot nine inches on the slide. Got the comfortable leather at recliners right here with the individual table mounts. I do like this because it allows you to still have a little bit of a dining presence while doing some just reconnection space and making it more relaxed. You don't need a full dinette because this is a couple's coach. This one will only sleep two people. But I say that with a word of caution. You open up these windows, which are surrounded by the, the wood balances and the zebra style shades. You get some breeze going over here. Put these recliners out because it's got heat. It's got massage. It's got light. It's got the little light down here that comes on. I don't think I have it plugged in, but there's a little light in, in this one and on that one. You get that massage and that heat going. Son, you're out for the count. Like you had a bad bout with Mike Tyson. Love it. All nestled in the slide. We're gonna to get to the fridge here in a minute, but I wanna show you this pantry. Now, entry point here, uh, we do have a slide. So this is turtle friendly. You can access the fridge 
and the bathroom while the slide is in. Um, you got your little switch right here for your fireplace, taking you from your AC to your fireplace because you got a 15K BTU AC right there, the Coleman Mach with the quick cool dump. Plus you got a 20,000 BTU furnace inside of this. Add that to the insulation and the fireplace. You're gonna do a good job of getting some good three season camping in. But I got my control panel here, checking my battery, my fresh tanks. I got my voltage meter. I'm already set up for my Wi-Fi hotspot and extender. Run out my slides, run out my awnings. There's my controls, but check out this pantry. Frosted glass door. Let me cut the light on in here for this one. Now look at the space in that. I, this, you know what? We usually, whoa, 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 no, no, no. Usually I fit a bob in here, uh, Ixnay on the Abert Ray. You can fit a Chris in here. Look how big this pantry is. Can shut the door. I'm not cramped. I got my hangers here. I got plenty of shelf space. Bob would leave me in there if he could. Storage spot there as well. So if you want to use this as a hunting cabin or a fishing cabin, great spot to store your cases, your rods, your reels. Or if you want to go out for that long weekend, you absolutely can. Come up here to the kitchen area. I got my Canon 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that is 12 volt. I like this because it's vibration smart. It's also frost resistant. Here's my second space of pantry storage. Really good job of maximizing the space in this 22 SW. I like what they did here. Got the kind of semi angled kitchen with the pressed surface countertops and molded edges, the undermounted farmhouse style sink in that matte black with the residential sprayer nozzle, the sanitization station, good prep area, dual USB and 110. Plus I got a 110 here. Frosted glass in my storage compartments as well. Very nice, just pleasing to the eye. Well built, good little camper. You need more prep space? You got the glass cover here grill mount on your three burner cooktop. You got the LED light on the handles plus the 16 inch oven right here and a backsplash that doubles as a cutting board. Just another one of those little innovations that Forest River thinks about when they're thinking about comfort and convenience when it comes to your RV. Got me some storage space over here. Not a lot though. Ooh, it'd be a thin line trash can. If anything, you could put a box of Lucky Charms in there. You ever had Lucky Charms when you're camping? Or the Apple Jacks? Whoa, oh, or some Pops. Whoa, oh, okay, now I'm getting hungry. Got my drawers right there. That's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Another barn door leading me into the master. And for a small camper, and granted it is 27 feet long, but it's a rear bath. They did a good job of separation of space. You do get the solid wall with the door. I get my hangers right here. I get the queen size bed. Got me a little storage compartment underneath, strut supported. Got a little nightstand space on both sides underneath my mirrored ward storage. Got a 110, plus I got the charger for my drive speaker, which also has dual USB. You can't really see it, but it's got USB ports there if you want to charge your cell phone. Ward storage, space up here. And dual USB charging over here on the campsite. Plus I got mushroom lights. And if you want to put up some entertainment, you don't have to worry about putting it on the sidewalls. With some of those smaller RVs, they always put the TV mount and the connection on the sidewalls. I do not like that. I don't want to be laying in the bed and turn this way if I'm watching TV. The TV backer is right here. Power, cable, and antenna connections are right there. Add that to the easy to clean, slip resistant flooring. The good headroom, over 70 inches style, space, and comfort. They nailed it with this 22 SW. If you're an adventurous couple that wants to get out and see America the safest way possible, I gotta tell you, man, this one is one you should absolutely check out. But we've seen the inside the 22 SW. Let's go talk about all the features and the amenities on the outside. So here we are on the outside, the Forest River Alpha Wolf 22 SWL. Right away, you're gonna notice that beautiful painted fiberglass end cap automotive coated aerodynamic styling with the LED running lights. Really, it gives you an aggressive profile, saving that wind resistance going down the road. Diamond plated rock guard right on top of our single welded aluminum frame right there. Twin 20 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack plus the LED light. And this one, I'm gonna have to have Bobby help me because it's got weird tanks. Okay, so the water tanks are the 40, 49, 70, and 35. Yeah, so 49 on the fresh, 73, 5, 79. <laughs> it's 
79 on the uh, gray tank and then 35 on the black tank. That really is some good space for something this small. You're talking about a 27 foot long RV with that much space. Plus you got the solar panels, uh, the solar quick connect over there. You could go off grid for a pretty good while. Beautiful fiberglass with the painted graphics on these. Magnetic anti-slam on the storage. Finished off pass-through. There's my solar charge controller there, my battery disconnect, my nozzle for my spray port. But look at the space that you have here. You got the heated and enclosed underbelly here as well. Only thing I would have liked to see added on this, right there, Bob's looking at it. Power stabilizer jacks. This is the accessibility. The underbelly has multiple panels on it, so if you need to replace something, you don't have to take off the whole bottom. You can just take out a panel at a time. You got the doggy leash latch here, because Forest River knows if you're gonna go camping, might as well bring the furry friends along with you. Sealed safety glass all the way around, 18 foot awning with the LED light strip. Or excuse me, that's, that's 20 foot. Yeah, that's a 20 foot awning. Plus, you got the magnetic anti-slam latch on your external kitchen right here. And I like this because it's versatile. You got the little mixing bowl slash prep area right here. The two burner suburban cooktop, which slides in when you're not using it. The contour fridge and the contour ice maker, not to mention a spray port and dual 110s if you need it. Because how else are you gonna have your outdoor bourbon without your outdoor ice? You gotta have the outdoor ice maker. I mean, come on. You're talking about an adventurous couples coach, ready, to go wherever you wanna go. But Chris, I wanna bring my own grill. I'm with you. So is Forest River. Got your LP Quick Connect right there. Double axle on this one. You got those nitro filled tires with the pressure monitoring system on there. Very nice touch. Aluminum wheels, Dexter Easy Lube axles. Nice little berth on the suspension there. For a travel trailer 27 feet long to put double axles on this, that's really gonna help with the, the ride, the suspension going down the road. And as you can see right here, this one's already sold. So, I mean, it's one of those things where if you want to get out and see America the safest way possible, RVs are going like hotcakes. You got to get in on it now. Extra large grab handle leading me into the entry point. Solid steps. Rear stabilizer jack. 4x4 sewer hose storage. Another nice addition. They added the bike rack or the storage rack right here. So if you want to bring your coolers, your bikes along, you can. Spare tire mount there. Backup camera, got those arch ceilings with the rubber nozzles, making sure that the rain, the snow, doesn't stay on top of the RV or the slide, they fall off. 30 amp plug here, and all of my connections, as well as my external shower with hot and cold. I got my black tank flush, my city water connection, my fresh tank fill, cable and satellite hookup, my 30 amp plug, and my terminations all right there. Sewer outlet connection and my dumps. Come around the slide. I gotta tell you, those leather recliners were really comfortable. I could knock out in there, absolutely. Other side of my finished off storage right here. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be the info panel. This is where you come to see how much does this vehicle weigh. For example, gross vehicle weight on this one, 7,500 pounds. You're looking at roughly 5,800 pounds dry. So that's where you take that information to your specialist at Camping World and at Gander, and you say, hey, what does that mean? Because here's what my RV can tow or here's what my truck can tow, is this RV right for me? When it boils down to it, it's about where you're taking it, how many people you need to sleep, and what are you towing with? That'll really help our folks guide you down a path of finding the right RV for you. But for an adventurous couple that wants some upgraded features and a ton of storage space, this Alpha Wolf 22 SW is one I think you should absolutely check out. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it, because we love hearing from you. And please click like, subscribe, and notify, so the next time we get a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young from Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the Alpha Wolf. Until next time, thank you, and I'll see you soon.